So I'm gonna start the day off today. Oh. I'm gonna start the day off today with some sanding, and then I think I'm gonna get into some cabinet building. Uh, here we go. <laughs> how much nicer things are when they're sanded it goes from feeling like a a bunch of wood that was screwed together to feeling like a really nice finished beautiful project I sanded off the table as well and now I'm gonna uh, put the stain on it Observer will notice, will remember that when I was making the ottomans, I didn't film myself staining the lids that I made, and uh, that's because I didn't and uh, I forgot. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm guessing that it's important to stain stuff because I want it to be able to be cleaned easily, and so that's why I want to stain everything that kind of could get spilled on or whatever. And the ottomans are definitely that. I think it turned out great. Uh, now I'm gonna have to think of a new thing to do. Ah, of course, I forgot to do the sofa. <laughs> so, uh, for some reason during demolition, we took this stripping out. It was probably to clean or something like that. We were able to clean the top of the thing, and now I want to put it back in because it's important for the water tightness, and it's also a really important part of the insulation for the back of the bus. So what I'm using is just 100% silicon. I'm using it. I'm just going to put it in there, and then I'm going to close the door to clamp it down because it's impossible to clamp it any other way. I've already done, I've already done the bottom and the left side because I wanted to do it part by part. I knew if I could focus on one at a time for the first two, it would make it so I could ensure success more than if I had tried to do all four at once. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get the right and the top in now because half of it's already done. Well, I hope that's gonna work. I'm pretty sure it will. That silicon works as great glue. It's also watertight. My next mission is going to be to add, this is the, this goes to the furnace. And so hot air comes out of here when we turn the furnace on. I want to be able to cut a little hole that fits this thing perfectly so that the vent comes out here. It'll have one of these guys. So this is pretty much going to go right there. One down, three to go. This is the next one I did. It kind of took forever, so basically, at this board, I cut very, very carefully. There was a cut here, a cut here. It's kind of a square. And then also it's got the, the outlet cut and the vent cut. Everything went in fine, but this was actually a very large project for cutting. <coughs> and here's number four. Here's the other one. This is one of those weird spaces that I didn't plan out very well, but I'm just kind of trying to fix everything now that it's near its end.
It's just a tiny little thing and it takes so long. <sighs> Long time listeners will know that this has been a constant problem. I thought that the batteries would fit under here. I was wrong. I got Maybe I got the wrong batteries, whatever. So the point is, is I've come up with a plan. I've got some measurements. You can see them right there. My measurements are for so the quarter inch plywood that I'll need to build like a little dock. I want to basically box that thing in so that people can't touch it. And so that it doesn't look bad. And I think that, uh, I think this, my, this plan's gonna work. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. That's gonna be like the step that connects, that covers the battery. I'm gonna put a tiny little strip right down here so that I can attach this to this. You don't wanna attach plywood into plywood, it just cracks. So the, uh, I couldn't find a piece that was the right size, I just figured I'd just cut one. So I've got this kind of old piece of wood that I was using to park the bus on. I'm just gonna rip a inch and a half strip off of here. days have really been seeming to blend together lately. I feel like I'm doing a lot of projects, but I also feel like things aren't happening that quickly. But the cool thing is, now I feel like the bus is almost complete. Like, I'm actually getting close. It'll be great, because as soon as I finish, I get to go to Australia and hang out with me. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the videos. Let me know if there's any way I can make them better. Bye-bye.